Happy New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports for the NBA. We're all dressed up and ready to go. Joined in the booth with Greg Anthony and Brent Perry, this is Kevin Harlan. Our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. We'll see the Golden State Warriors facing the Pittsburgh Force. And it's the Warriors to start out. Now Golden State's starting five. Green is out there with Chris. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Brady in at the small four. Here's Green. It's deflected. And he's able to get it back. Just three to shoot. Here's Poole. No good on the triple. And so it's Ennis bringing it up now for the force. Passes it to Dotson. Well, this seems to be a game that could be very tactical, Greg. Both teams relying on execution in the half court. And Kevin, you're going to see a lot of ball movement and body movement. And you can't just stand around and watch one guy go to work. I think that puts so much pressure on the defense with how the game is played. And an emphasis on coaching, too. Yes. To the inside, here's Chris. Pittsburgh pulls it in. And there's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that's in that close. Hudson can't hit. Fast break, here they come. It's good, he makes his first shot of the game. Traditionally, that's how you want to finish the break, right at the rim. Yeah, anything other than a layup in that situation, probably disappointing, had numbers, took advantage. Now, here's McConnell. Down low, deflects the pass. A solo fast break, a finish, rips down the breakaway slam. Well, Steph started that all with his defense. Fantastic at getting into the passing lane and coming up with a steal. Pass to Dobson. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Now, here's McConnell, guarded by Kerr. Dobson the pass to McConnell. And again, it's Pittsburgh missing. To the force, their last game a win against Toronto. Curry takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. <laughs> Steph with a great read there. Tricky on the inside and exploits the defense with a good read. Back to McConnell. Takes the three. Chris with the rebound. Warriors leading by four. Some firepower from this offense tonight. Yeah, they got a nice crew going right now offensively. The Warriors shooting their first free throws here tonight. Two stops. Last on the first. The first free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. And the Force call their first time out of the game. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go, get back on track. for him. And so it's McConnell with it. He'll bring it up for Pittsburgh. Six-point game. Here's Ennis. Back to Dotson. He's now one for two with that bucket. Well, that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple. 100 years from now. Trust me. 
Here's Curry, and denied. He sends it right off the glass. Inside, Hurdle, and the rejection by Curry. Curry, great timing on the block, catching his man off guard with a big-time rejection. Pittsburgh pulls it in. And looking at Curry's stats, one thing that jumps out, and, and it may be a little surprising, for the last three seasons, he's averaged over five rebounds a game. Now here's Ennis. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Nice shot by Pirtle. When Pirtle gets the rock deep inside, the D is toast. Can't allow him to get comfortable from there. Here's Poole. Pass to Curry. Again, Curry missing. And those rebounding numbers, G.A., just speak to Curry's overall impact. And when you look at Steph's size and the amount of time he spends on the perimeter, there's no way he should be cleaning the glass like that. But you can't teach hard and you can't teach instinct. And he has both. Lock it two. A miss that time. Would have put him up. Things are going south right now. This is not the type of shooting that his teammates expect from him. with another miss. Time for some consideration in the passing category, maybe, Kevin. The shot is just not on. Get somebody else going. Pirtle kicks to Ennis. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Aminu and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And it goes on Draymond Green. Becoming more of a factor these days on the offensive end. Aminu wants the eighth overall player taken in a draft getting to the line a little more often. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Reagan 1991, you were drafted 12th overall. Talk about early expectations as a first-round pick. Your son going through it right now. Yeah, uh, no doubt. Listen, everyone wants to see what you've got. Uh, and also, you want to prove that you belong. And, and so... Because of that, though, especially in today's game, sometimes judgment comes way too quickly. And we've seen it with a lot of great young players that because they come in a lot earlier in terms of their age, it may take them an extra year or two to figure it all out. And so the teams that are most patient in allowing those kids to mature at their own level tend to be the ones that get uh, the higher rewards. It, indeed. And we see so much impatience, and it causes problems and doesn't like how things are going right now. The timeout before the timeout here, maybe just to cut off the momentum and have a chit-chat with the team to settle down. the Warriors ball outside green back to Curry floats one and it's good on the layup Curry's got his second bucket tonight those floaters boy they, they really demoralize the defense here's the thing Steph knows it now here's McConnell tight defense on him back to Dotson Pittsburgh needs to get off a shot here. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And he's all over that shot. Has it read the whole way and gets the position he needs to make a play. The Warriors leading. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, Pittsburgh's head coach and I were able to chat. I asked about Steph Curry and the problems he poses to defense that fans don't know about. Coach said everyone knows about the shooting, but he's the most slippery guy in the league, too. 
constant movement, dips in and around screens all the time, he's hard to locate. And they will have to do their best not to lose Curry in this one. Guys? Thanks, David. Here's Ennis. The Warriors making the shot. The pass to McConnell. Lock at six. Second shot opportunity, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, how about the effort from Aminu there? Something he's known for is crashing the boards, plus improved ability to finish around the rim. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. with it to the paint laid in with a nice touch off the glass and the Warriors lead by three and the floor vision from Curry right there setting up his teammates sharing the ball pass to Dotson back to McConnell Dotson the pass to Purtle Pittsburgh working the ball around shot clock at five that's tipped and up the court come the Warriors on the break. Curry with it. Now guarded by Ennis. That one drops for him. Now it's a five-point Warrior lead. Not getting old here. Seeing him make that lead pass with perfect timing. Now here's Ennis. No points in the game yet for him. Dotson gets the bucket. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Pass to Napier. And the officials have called the illegal screen right there. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out east already. We are in December. You look at the force. Third best record here in the early going. You know, right now for Pittsburgh, they had pressure on them coming into the season. A lot of people were picking them to have a special year. And they haven't shot away from that pressure. They've embraced it. I think every great team welcomes the challenge of trying to be elite and they want to do it on a nightly basis now here's McConnell here's Dotson and they're unable to get the tying basket there feeds it to Napier the basket is good off the assist from Graham Napier's got his second bucket of the night the defense not putting up any fight on the inside they've allowed 10 straight points in the paint Time called here. The Forest will talk it over. I'm sure you've got a list, Greg, of players you've visited with over the years who you really enjoy spending some time with and talking to. I mean, there are so many, Kevin. Uh, a couple guys, and there is a little bias as a point guard, but Damian Lillard and Steph Curry and Chris Paul are three guys that, you know, I enjoy sitting down and talking shop with. Uh, Giannis, you know, witnessing his journey to greatness all the while. He remains humble and really appreciates his position. So several of these guys, uh, I'm also not just an analyst partner, but a fan and a big fan of theirs. You are a fan indeed. Pittsburgh trails by five. Pass to Dodson. Here's Ennis. Graham defending. Haskell against Aminu. Dodson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, good job to take it right at the D. Pittsburgh shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Dotson taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Warriors leading by four. 
Kyle Napier. Makes it off the glass. Napier's got six. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Back to McConnell. Dotson in the corner. Kicks it to Pirtle. Shot clock at six. Now the pass to Dotson. Nailed from three-point land. Eight points for him. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Graham, the pass to Napier. And so it's McConnell with it. They'll bring it up for Pittsburgh. They trail by three. Aminu passes to Dotson. Pittsburgh working the ball around. And here's McConnell. Graham defending. Ennis passes to Aminu. Goes back up. No good. That's miss number two. He's one for three. Now here's Napier. He's covered by Aminu. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First trip to the line for him here. Free throw missing. No luck that time either. Pittsburgh trails by three. We've got 108 left here in the first quarter. Here's Dotson. Eight points for him. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. They get Stephen Curry. That's just a poor decision by the defender there. Aminu is not a high percentage shot maker, but has made himself into a pretty good free throw shooter. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Aminu. The Warriors making a switch here. Pools checked in. No good on the second free throw. The Warriors lead him. Misses that one. He's made one and missed two this game so far. Out to the right wing. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. In the corner, Napier with it. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Here's Dotson. Eight points for him. With the teardrop. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. Warriors ahead, up two. And we'll get the second quarter underway on the other side of the spring. And we're getting back to the action in our New Year's Eve broadcast. And taking a look at the Warriors' performance here, guys. What are your thoughts? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Just a, a great job, really, of making the game ugly, trying to muck it up a little bit out there.
And here's McConnell. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And Pittsburgh, looking at who they've got out there. Al Farouk Camino is out there with Ennis. Then there's Pirtle, and it's T.J. McConnell, and it's Dotson in at the two-guard spot. The score now all even. McConnell's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for Pittsburgh. And the Warriors with possession here. Pass to Graham. Pittsburgh pulls it in. Pirtle's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. To the middle, here's McConnell. It's good, the assist that time for Menace. McConnell's got the lead up to two now for the force. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. And Pirtle sends it back. Wonderful anticipation from Pirtle on that one, positioning himself perfectly to send that one back. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Here's Poole. And Pirtle sends it back. Here's McConnell. And Pascal pulls it down. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. Launches a three. And the Warriors miss again. Pittsburgh leading by four. Ennis taking his time here. Knots in the pass to Purdy. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Ennis, good. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Timeout called the Warriors. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Trail by six. Pass to Poole. They can't stop the run with that one. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And Greg, you play with some big personalities. Talk about the best way to manage egos and conflicts in the locker room. That's a, that's a very interesting, uh, interesting topic. No doubt about it. You know, Kev, first thing you learn from middle school on, Shoot your two. team is your family. And let's face it, all families have spats, uh, and so do teams. You just learn to never personalize those things. Never leave any stone unturned. Like, don't let things fester. When there are issues, you address them. Uh, and if you're not taking things personally, you tend to be able to work through whatever issues uh, you may come in front of. Good advice. And Ennis drops them both. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Napier with it. Six points for him. And Pirtle sends it back. And he gets it back. High arcing shot. Ennis misses. Warriors trail by eight. it up and Chris throws it down and dropping the sledgehammer there he curbs a 10-0 run by the force and it's McConnell with the ball he'll bring it up for the force only giving up two points this quarter Ennis kicks to Dotson six on the shot clock here's Aminu dishes it to Pirtle two free throws coming up and they call the shooting foul and the way Pirtle uses his seven-foot frame, so skilled in how he earns calls on his way up with the shot. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shot. 
Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And, and Pirtle is a massive guy, someone that uses his height exceptionally well to get high-quality looks at the bucket. And he sinks the second. Warriors trail by seven. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Here's Poole. Basket made just his second this contest. He's two for seven now. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Ennis passes to McConnell. Five to shoot. Pirtle inside. Over by Chris. That one goes. Count it. Pirtle's got five. And Pirtle has a stick with it mentality on the offensive glass. Just throwing himself against the board. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Now here's Ennis. Back to Pirtle from the arc. That ball's off target. It's his third miss. He's made two shots from the field. The pass to Chris. Here's Brady. A three-pointer is right on target. Seven points in the game. Now he's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. McConnell kicks to Dotson. Back to McConnell. Here's Dotson. He's got ten. They double him with Green. Ennis passes to Purdy. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. is it to pool off the mark there with the three-point shot Pittsburgh leading by four Ennis dishes to Pirtle back to Ennis and that one's good his second basket of four shooting 50 percent it took a little bit of time but now he's taking the pen off the cap and putting his mark on this game here's Chris the shot no good and the force going the other way now McConnell passes to Dotson. Hurdle kicks to Ennis. That's Dotson, top of the key. The Warriors pull it in. Green's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Brady. Offline with his three. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And he gets it to go. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Here's Brady. And the three off target. And it's McConnell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Pittsburgh. And his misses. Now that's just enough defensive pressure on him to throw off that shot. I bet he gets a, a good look at it next time and hits it. And the basket by Napier. Now what a setup there. Green plays with great speed and plays with great pace. And that's a nice field play. Here's Dotson. Ten points for him. And it's Ennis, top of the key. He kicks it to Aminu. Chris with the rebound. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Poole, the pass to Nathan. And he gets the Three. whistle for the three-second call. Now we get a chance to check out the standings out west. Already we're in December. We take a look at the Warriors. Pittsburgh leading by six. Pass to Ennis. Now Aminu. The pass to Ennis. Back to Aminu. From deep. Offensive rebound. And another shot. And Pirtle lays it up and in. 
Bertle's got the lead up to eight now for the force. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the back team. Now a timeout called by Golden State. And looking back at what was a stellar career, Greg, if there was one thing you could have done different, do you have anything on your mind? You know, I, I would have loved to have had the opportunity to finish my career in New York. Uh, that was a special place, a special time. Unfortunately, that didn't transpire. But that's the one thing that, that stands out. That and obviously not winning a championship. I can understand both of them. Yes. Trail by eight. With some arc as a bookie. Good. Uh, that's excellent. Get the ball down deep inside and cash in on a simple basket. Time called here. The Forest will talk it over. And Kevin, he saw his, his guys just a little sluggish out there. Oftentimes, a timeout like this allows you to kind of just reset. Here's Purdy. Seven points in the game. Passes it to Dodson. Nice shot by Purdy. Purdy's got nine. That's more like it. Rounding into form after a very, very difficult first quarter. Pass to Brady. Outside Curry. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Pass to Nansen. Now, here's Aminu. Six points for him. Hits the three-point bomb. He's got 13. Now, that's the kind of passing right there that makes a difference, not just in that possession, but maybe on your play for the entire game. Now, here's Curry. But Trey, that's in, and the force lead is cut down now to just eight points with the basket from Brady. Sometimes trailing in the game, players get sucked into trying to make that home run play. And, of course, having that broken hand last season, Curry couldn't help the Warriors avoid a disastrous season. Kevin Durant, gone. Clay, rehabbing. The Warriors, I mean, legitimately just left with no scoring whatsoever. But Steph Curry, he's healthy, he changes that whole narrative. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. Well, his body control is phenomenal, and his ability to get to the line has always been impressive. That's a huge part of his game. And he ends up missing both free throws. And so Graham will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. And there's the pass to Kirk. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Six points for Steph Curry. Because Steph moves so well, anytime he can get some separation, he starts to feel once he gets the ball, he's going to find some points. Now here's Ennis. Six points for him. 
passes it to Purdy. Six to shoot. Ennis misses. Warriors trail by six. There's the three. Another three for Golden State. I mean, there's just, there's no way. I mean, it's just a sliver of daylight, and there's three more. McConnell passes to Ennis. McConnell with it, guarded by Kerr. Back to Dotson. He feeds it to Ennis. Here's Pirtle. They get it again. Pass to McConnell. Kicks it to Ennis. Back to McConnell. Beyond the arc. That one doesn't drop. And it's Golden State's ball. They've got an 8-0 run. Eight-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Stolen. In transition. Here comes Pittsburgh. Here's Dotson, guarded by Kerr. Two on the clock. Dotson gets the bucket. Dotson's got seven points here in this quarter. And some good action through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. Force lead by five. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Ladies and gentlemen, dance team. And now the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Tremendous first half. Glad to have you back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. For Pittsburgh, Kenny, how'd you see it? They put on a rebounding clinic in the first half. Boxing out, reacting quickly when those shots go up. And solid fundamentals that have them in good shape at the half. Shaq, what are your thoughts on Golden State? Well, the guys coming off the bench gave them a big lift. Get points off the bench like that. Look, fires everybody. Fan, coach, the other players. Love to see guys who might not get a chance every night contribute. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. So for the Golden State Warriors right now, they've got Marquise Chris, Steph Curry is out there with Draymond Green, and it's Poole in at the two. Here's Dotson. Just five to shoot. And Aminu kicks to Dotson. And it's Curry with the rebound. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. And Pirtle pulls it down. Pass to Dotson. It's good. The assist that time for Menes. Menes has got six assists in the game. Excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. On its way from Curry for two. That one off the back iron and out. McConnell kicks to Dotson. Down low. Aminu the pass to Purdy. Chris with the rebound. Warriors trail by seven. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Solid decision from Draymond there. Seeing a lane and jumping on it in no time. Now here's McConnell. Eight points for him. Back to Ennis. Pirtle, high post. Back to Ennis. Releases. Off the left rim and out. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Pittsburgh leading by five. McConnell kicks to Ennis. And the pass to Purdy. Looking to get back on track here. Chris with the rebound. Chris has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? And so here are the force following the score by Golden State. Passes to Ennis. Now McConnell guarded by Kerr. 
And Pirtle has it in the corner. All three off the mark. And it's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. To the paint, here's Dotson. And this is what the schedule looks like for Pittsburgh. On Sunday, they'll be taking on Victor Oladipo and the Indiana Pacers. Then on Tuesday, they'll go up against Bradley Beal and the Washington Wizards. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. Warriors trail by five. Pass to Chris. Outside, Green. Shot clock at six. There's the pass to Brady. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got assist number five here tonight. How huge to have a big on the floor who can see the entirety of the court. The ball doesn't stop with Draymond Green. Now here's Ennis. Six points for him. Bertle, the pass to McConnell. Here's Dotson. They get it back. Here's Pirtle. Back to McConnell. Launches it. That's in for his fifth field goal of the game. Makes him 5 for 12 so far. And when Pirtle sees one of his guys wide open, he whips it his way. He's all for doing what's best for the team. Now here's Green. Curry. In it goes for the fifth time in 10 shots for him this game. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Pass to Dodson. Pittsburgh working the ball around. To the inside. Eight for 15 with that made basket. But he's not satisfied yet. Love how skilled Hurdle is. So good at getting the ball over to the open team. Outside Curry. Here's the three. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. And, boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Seems to be nobody standing in his way. No roadblocks for him to get to his spot, capitalize, and continue to be aggressive. Time called here. The Forest will talk it over. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. Yeah, they're like a four-day-old soda right now, just flat. They're missing shots left and right and just not playing their best. McConnell. Good. Nice job down low. McConnell's got 13 points. Two teammates connecting right there. Slick feed. Curry outside. Bangs home the trifecta. Curry's got two now from beyond the arc in the third for the Warriors. Pass to Dotson. Now Ennis. He has six. Back to Dotson. Curry brings the double. Clock at four. And stolen by Napier. Now the Warriors moving it up. Here's Green. And Green slams it in. For all the things that Draymond does, when he gets dunks, it makes him even more excitable. Pass to Dotson. Back to McConnell. Here's Aminu. Great tee that time from Green. Yeah, 
better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Now, here's McConnell. He's got 13. Inside, and it's Green with the jam. Total letdown by the D. Can't leave the bucket unprotected. Absolutely. And it attacks an easy two points onto the lead. Will not find a higher percentage opportunity than that. McConnell with it. Napier covering. McConnell kicks to Dotson. No good. Unable to end this run. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't. Despite the miss, no defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot that one. And Pirtle sends it back. A three. Offensive rebound on the pass to Pascal. And here's Napier. Rocket six. To the middle. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Steph with a great job there of just getting to the end one opportunity. The timing of his shot and knowing when the defense is coming at him to draw contact. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Shot. What you love about Steph right here is just the winning mentality. He's a champion that gives up a lot of his game in order for greater team success. Now, here's McConnell. 13 points in the game. Ennis kicks to McConnell. Pass to Pirtle. McConnell scanning the floor. Knocks down the three ball. McConnell's got 16 points. I kind of like playing in the rec league. Little to no defense on that possession. And the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now here's Ennis. He's got six. Passes it to Dotson. Shoots over Curry. Rebound by Azabuki. Azabuki's got five rebounds tonight. Now, here's Napier. He's guarded close, and that one, good. And now it's a nine-point Warrior lead. And really the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other, not so much. Yeah, this team did something at halftime, going from a mild-mannered, half-court executing team to some heroic shooting in the second half. And you're going to take as many of those high percentage shots as you can get. Napier passes to Graham. Back to Napier. No good on that one. And the force going the other way now. Now here's McConnell. He's covered by Azubuki. McConnell passes to Aminu. Here's Dotson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. He's gone three for four from the line. And you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. First one falls for him. He's perfect from the line this time. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. Napier passes to Curry. To the paint as a booty slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That one on Jakob Bertel. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woof. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. The Warriors shooting their sixth attempt at the charity stripe in the game. What's up?
And that one misses. Pittsburgh trails by seven. To the inside. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Chris, he's checked in for Golden State. One fifty-seven left in the third quarter. Napier passes to Chris. Now here's Graham. On its way from Curry for two. And he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Curry's got 24. Just how awesome is it to watch the best of the best start to dominate in a game? And it's Pirtle at the elbow. The Warriors pull it in. Chris has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. That one goes in. And now an eight-point Warrior lead. Their interior has been inferior defensively. It has got to tighten up. Back to McConnell. And the layup's good off the glass. McConnell's got 13 points here in the second half alone. This is a one-man show right now. He's on a mission to get him out of this hole. Curry kicks to Green. Let's go. Pittsburgh pulls it in. And if that's the best look you can get on a possession, what a waste of a trip down the floor. Yeah, see the coach? He's got that frown on his face. I think we know why. Not a high percentage look. Now here's Ennis. Six points for him. Aminu dishes to Ennis. Over Napier. Bank shot. No good. With him struggling tonight, they need to find some other options out there to keep themselves in the game. Of all the action happening there, it's the assist that jumps out to me there. That's just a great look and a great setup for the bucket. Here's Dotson. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. It's been all about Stephen Curry for the Golden State Warriors. Setting up teammates and getting buckets. He is looking as determined as ever. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm Assist of the Game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. That's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Warriors leading by eight. Not good Pirtle off there with Aminu. Then it's Ennis. And it's T.J. McConnell. And it's Dotson in a shooting guard. Curry gets the bucket. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Pass to Dotson. Now, here's Aminu, defended by Pascal. Count that one. Well, there's the combined strength and athleticism of Aminu, able to finish through contact. And slam dunk by Pascal. Now, those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. Here's Dotson. Aminu, the pass to Ennis, and Ennis slams it in. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. You have to credit the aggressiveness offensively because that's when you make a play when you really need it. Good. And they're scoring much more efficiently here in the second half, and they've gotten that field goal percentage above 50. The pass to Aminu. Here's Dotson. And he uses the glass on the layup. Dotson's got 12 points in just the second half. Now that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense, a quick move to the bucket, and you get the lay-in. Pass to Poole. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Jakob Berto. Shoot. 
Two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. Green is checked in for Eric Paschal. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. This is a deduction. Back to McConnell. Ennis in the corner. Down low, Aminu. It's good, the assist that time from Ennis. Ennis has got nine assists in the game. Great passer. Inside, goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Green's got the lead up to 10 now for the Warriors. And it's McConnell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Pittsburgh. Pass to Ennis. They double him with Green. Aminu, no one around him. Off target from outside. Well, the D doesn't seem to be too worried about him from three-point range, and he shows us why still. I expect him to make one of those. And playing with the lead, you can see they're making a much more concerted effort to work the ball inside here in the second half. Draymond Green is a great role player on the offensive end on the floor and makes guys around him better because he's willing to make plays and passes. And then he's got that commitment, that tenacity on the defensive end as well. Now here is Pirtle. McConnell in the corner. Wide open. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. McConnell's got 15 points in just the second half. Outside, Green. The pass to Poole. A three-pointer off the mark. Well, there's more he could have done in this game for sure, but it hasn't kept them from pulling ahead. Dotson gets the bucket. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. Green against Aminu. Pass to break. Let's it go with the three. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Pass to Dotson. Pass to Ennis. To the inside. Aminu. And he did it there too much force it looked like on the foul and he's called for the flagrant and, and Kevin I gotta tell you he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there I mean so much contact the officials easily could have gone even harder on it Greg I agree he better be on his best behavior from now on one more flagrant of any variety and he's out of here that free throw good from Aminu And so he's able to get one of two. Ennis kicks to McConnell. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Back to Dobson. Oh, oh man. And I got to say, sort of surprising he goes for a slam that difficult timeout, when they're trailing. Mm -hmm. but, but still, a magnificent move to the rim. Timeout called the Warriors. Ladies and gentlemen, this
go down to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, guys, I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Okay, David, much appreciated. Here's McConnell following the basket by Stephen Kerr. Ennis kicks to Dotson. The pass to McConnell. The feed to Aminu. Six on the shot clock. Count it, and the Warrior lead has been cut down now to just nine in the bucket from Ennis. Now, there's some easy offense there. Keep finding looks in that area, and their shooting percentages tonight are going to be off the charts. Here's Poole. And the first one at the line is good. And so he makes both from the line. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. Dotson the pass to Aminu. Here's Dotson. Feeds to Aminu. Over Green. The offensive rebound. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. That gives him the double-double. 11 points and 15 rebounds. Love seeing Pirtle attack the glass, especially when he goes for the putback jam. Pittsburgh trails by nine. McConnell passes to Aminu. To the paint. Dotson gets the bucket. Dotson's got eight points in the quarter. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. Good on both. And here's McConnell. Passes it to Dotson. Ennis with the ball. Count it. Number five from the four this game. He's now five of 11. Could come down the selection. Bad shots in the first half. Here in the second, using his head, finding some more efficient opportunities to score. Now here's Curry. And Green gets it to go. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? Pass to Dodson. Back to McConnell. Lock at six. Here's Pirtle, and he lays it straight in. Astonishing body control by Pirtle. Just taking the hit head on and finishing through it all. Outside curve. Another three for Golden State. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. Now here's Ennis. Pass to Dotson. And here's Aminu. Pittsburgh working the ball around. Here's Pirtle. It's good. The assist that time for Menace. Pirtle's got six in the quarter. Warriors leading by nine. 
Curry looking around. Drayden. A three-pointer, no good. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. McConnell passes to Dotson. Now the pass to Purdy. On the left block. And there's Pittsburgh with another bucket. I mean, the stroke looks good. He's moving well out there. What a sensational start to this game. Perfect from the field. Passes to Poole. They kick it out to Green. No good on the three. Pittsburgh trails by seven. To the middle. Pirtle, the pass to Ennis. Gets that one to fall. That's his sixth field goal. He has shot the ball 12 times. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Here's Poole. Lays it up off the glass. Well, that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Picked his pocket. Oh, here comes Curry all alone. The shot's good. And it's a nine-point Warrior lead. Getting down the floor quickly, this is a huge part of the offensive attack that this team deploys. And Steph was wide open. Time called here. The Forest will talk it over. They're behind by nine. 158 left to play in the final quarter. present our New Balance player of the game, Stephen Curry. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. One fifty-eight left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Dotson. He feeds it to Pirtle. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Pirtle's got 19 points. And Pirtle is so quick at moving to the hoop after the screen. Just awesome mobility rolling to the basket. Aminu grabs the miss. Aminu's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. McConnell kicks to Dotson. They get a hand on it. From downtown, Chris with the rebound. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. Dotson with the rebound. This is a do-or-die possession. They have got to get points. Now you can't make any mistakes right here if you want to keep hope alive. Their execution has to be precise. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside curve. They double team curve. Green deciding where to go with it. Down to five on the shot clock. Great. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Can't waste any time here. Well, it's probably a little bit too late here, but you really need to score a bucket here to stay alive. Come on. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. Oh, and look at how well he led him in there. Really, he passed him open for that deuce. Yeah, you, you have to do that, though. You can't just let him dribble the game out. Shoot two. 
He drops the first one, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a five-point game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. Now a timeout called by Pittsburgh. They're trailing by five. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Kicks to Aminu. Back to Pirtle. Here's Dotson. They grab their own miss. From past the arc. That one misses. And now we've got the intentional foul. At the line of the Warriors, Draymond Green. Taking two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Good on the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. Five seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. From deep three-point range, misses. So we see the Warriors get the win here. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. It really was, but that didn't seem to bother them. I mean, road team, home team, all I know is they were the better team. Well said. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.